Hey guys, welcome. It is December. I'm up in my attic. As you can see, I have decorated my loom for the holidays. Now, on the loom, I have just dressed the loom. It is yet another double weave sampler. <laughs> so today I wanted to share what I have learned after a year of weaving double weave projects. Hey there, thank you so much for being here. I'm Felicia from Sweet Georgia and the School of Sweet Georgia. And you can find us on Instagram at Sweet Georgia and at School of Sweet Georgia. And you can also find all of my weaving work at Low Meets Loom. Now I am absolutely delighted to announce that after a year of writing and weaving and filming and editing, we have finally launched the new Double Weave on Four Shafts course for the School of Sweet Georgia. Now, if you have ever been curious about weaving two layers of cloth at the same time on your loom in order to make something like a double width fabric, like a blanket, then this course will definitely be for you. Now, after filming for something like 14 individual days, we cut everything into a very compact and concise course that is just under three hours of teaching and watching. Now, the topic of weaving double weave and specifically double width has been one of the most requested topics for us to teach inside the School of Sweet Georgia since the very beginning. And you might know that it has been five years since I started down this path of creating our online fiber arts school. So you might think that it's been a long time. <laughs> um, but when we looked at this topic at the very beginning, we had to first make sure that we had all of the fundamentals of weaving in place in the school first. So that means everything from making sure everybody knows how to wind a warp, to how to dress your loom, to how to read a weaving draft. You can't do a lot of the things that we're talking about if you don't know those first skills. So we needed to make sure that everyone had access to those key pieces of knowledge first before we could jump into something like weaving two layers of cloth on the loom at the same time. So in the course, I first talk about the theory behind double weave by illustrating how it works through weaving drafts. And then we talk about the specifics of how to tie up a rising shed jack loom, how a sinking shed counterbalance loom would work for double weave, and how a countermarsh loom would work for double weave as well. So if you have followed our weaving courses on the School of Sweet Georgia, you will understand all about weaving drafts and the mechanics of how different looms work. Then, in the double weave course, we work through different sequences so that you can produce either two layers of fabric, two separate layers of fabric, or a tube of fabric where the two layers are joined on both sides, or a double width fabric where the two layers are joined on one side. And so that gives us an opportunity to weave with multiple shuttles, look at your selvages, and concentrate on getting an even beat, and so on. Many skills for us to work on throughout that class. So for the projects that we weave, I demonstrate weaving on a small, narrow sampler that you can easily put on a table loom to just experiment and play with. And then I also demonstrate weaving a cotton and linen bread bag using the Just Duet, which is a beautiful yarn. And that is basically a double weave tube where it's two layers of fabric that are closed on two sides. And then we also weave a wool and silk blanket using the Sweet Georgia BFL and Silk Fine. And that is a double width fabric woven on a relatively compact floor loom. And so the floor loom that I used for that was the Shacked Baby Wolf. Since this course is offered inside the School of Sweet Georgia, we support all the members through our SOS community as well. So already a couple of weeks ago, I hosted a very casual Zoom meetup where I ran through how I made all of the weaving calculations for the projects that we wove, but also the weaving calculations for all the projects that we considered weaving but didn't actually weave. So that included things like a very luxurious alpaca blanket using the Gist Ode, as well as samplers that are a little bit smaller using less expensive cotton yarns like an 8-4 cotton and things like that. So I'm also inside the School of Sweet Georgia community forums to answer individual questions about double weave. And then in mid-January, I'm going to host another Zoom meetup. And hopefully we will have some double weave projects from members that we can celebrate and we can talk about, or we can also continue to answer questions and provide support. This whole year, I spent a ton of time reading and processing this double weave knowledge from many different weavers and authors. And it really helped me see that 
everyone has different practices, preferences, and conventions, and that we still all manage to arrive at the same place. We encounter the same challenges, whether it's about weaving a good fold or being able to check mistakes on the underside of your loom. It's okay that we all do things differently. And I think it's really helpful to see how different weavers approach a problem because then you get to find your way. It's like, how many different ways can you combine numbers to get to 10? It's the same with double weave. You can apply your own preferences and your own logic to weaving double weave and make it comfortable and understandable for you. I'm using this same principle going forward as I've already started to write and build content for the next courses that I'm working on. And those are about overshot, crackle and summer and winter. So I want to look at the perspectives and experiences of different weavers and look at how do they all approach overshot? Again, every weaver has a different preference for what makes good cloth. And so I want to help you find what you like and what you want to weave. Now, I just want to take a moment to pause and thank the incredible and amazing team that we have at the School of Sweet Georgia because they help make all of these courses and community activities actually happen. So I get the fun job of reading about weaving, writing about weaving, and then actually weaving. But Greta helps keep us on track with the planning and the breakdown for what we are going to film and when and with which instructor. Greta does a ton of preparation and planning work and then is also on camera A for every single filming day. So a huge big thank you to Greta. I'm also thankful that Kathy has been our camera operator this year and has also started to help us with some of the video editing. And Leah, who edited the Double Weave course video, has done an absolutely wonderful job of editing down my 14 days of film footage and making it watchable. <laughs> Vicky has also been behind the scenes taking on a big job of preparing all the captions and transcripts for the courses so that the content can be more accessible to everyone. So theoretically you could watch my entire course with just captions on and no sound if you like. <laughs> Also, thank you to Amanda Buckley, who joined the Double Weave Project to tech edit the weaving patterns that we published. She honestly made all of my notes and instructions into an actual readable pattern. So thank you. Also, many of the people on our team, including Bridget and Tabitha, who have been helping write the descriptions and the copy around all of the courses. Plus, both Robin and Vicky have been serving as super encouraging community moderators for us. Also, a huge thank you to Anita and Rachel for supporting our members on the email side of things. If you've ever emailed the school, it's either Anita or Rachel who will respond to you there. And I also wanted to thank Charlotte from the Sweet Georgia team, as well as all of our SOS instructors and contributors for being so present and engaged in our community discussions. I see so much wonderful conversation and learning happening every time I visit the forums. And we just look forward to seeing what you do with the Double Weave in the coming months. And of course, finally, I want to thank everyone at the Sweet Georgia team for doing the amazing work of dyeing the colors and the yarns that we use in the school projects and the kits. This year, we celebrated five years of the School of Sweet Georgia, and it has just been an intense, full, an incredible year of growth in the school and our team. So if you are a member of the school already, thank you for being a member and for being a part of this amazing adventure. If you're not already a member, I hope that you'll join us inside the School of Sweet Georgia. We have so much planned for next year, and I'm so looking forward to spending more time weaving, knitting, spinning, and learning with you all. Since you're here and watching all the way to the end, I have a little coupon for you too. If you don't yet have your School of Sweet Georgia membership, you can join us now and you can get 10% off your first month or your first three months or your first year with the code YTWEAVE. If you're already a member with a monthly or quarterly subscription, you can also use that same code to upgrade to quarterly or annual as well for 10% off. Now, at the start of this year, I talked about wanting to go deep into more weaving content and sharing more of what I'm weaving. But with the course content and other things that happened along the way this year, I feel like I stopped doing what I do best, which is sharing what I'm learning while I'm learning it. So this has really been a month of a lot of reflection on my part on the idea of sharing more of my process with you here on YouTube. So that is like my creative process, my organizational process, my work in progress, <laughs> and the mistakes that I make as I make them. So I hope that you'll subscribe here to the channel and join us in the new year for more about craft and color and everything to do with spinning and weaving and knitting and dyeing. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in the new year.